Welcome back to the channel. Let's do some Dogecoin analysis because, uh, yeah, it's on the ropes right now. It's it's hanging on for dear life. And yeah, it's it's currently 13 cents. Market cap is also evaporating. It looks really, really bad. But there is hope and I will explain why. All right. So let's dive straight into this. If you don't know me, my name is Hamilton. Thank you for the likes as well. Really does help me out a lot. If we could hit 10 likes on this video, I would just... I, I, I don't know. I just, I'd be so happy. <laughs> but yeah, let's jump into this thing. Um, yeah, Dogecoin right now, just about to potentially break down from a ginormous descending triangle. Really disgusting. Disgusting, because the measure move does bring us down to about 10 cents and 7 mini cents. Uh, yeah, it's also where the horizontal is from our most recent local high. Okay, uh, on the lower side anyway. Uh, and yeah, it, it just doesn't look that great right now. But if it wants to bounce, then it's got to bounce here. Uh, we've got the 4-hour volume weighted ATR band uh, holding us up right now. Okay, we have this kind of uh, slightly slanted horizontal coming through. Okay, we haven't broken down just yet. But uh, yeah, I would just say... If we lose, essentially, let's just take a look at this real quick. Oh, uh, yes, it's it's discussed. I'm not going to say an exact number here because these are just all over the place. There's no exact uh, real low to be looking at here. Um, I could say down here at 12, but it's probably a bit too late. Okay, so what I'm going to say here instead is uh, let's say we come down to an hourly, right? We come down to an hourly this is how i'll be kind of measuring what's going on here if we wait for this to load there we go beautiful stuff uh, i want to see us break this first okay and then uh, we retest it and then once we break the low that's made then we can be pretty sure that the continuation is going to be towards the downside right so if you are holding doge that's probably the time to exit okay uh, and then obviously if we reclaim this line at any point that would be the time to get in uh, and this is just risk management here you don't want to be down losing uh 10 20 30 percent here when uh when you could have just exited as we broke down, right? Uh, so instead, yeah, you can lose 1% or 2% here uh, by waiting for this to basically look more bullish and, and, and confirm a more of a bullish trend rather than this just <laughs> this sea, this barrage of red candles towards the downside, right? So uh, yeah, this is probably what I'd be looking for to kind of exit any position here on Doge. Uh, essentially, we lose 12 cent 9. Uh, but this wherever this low is, right, wherever this first low is made, and then we retest and then we break that low, that's when the exit will happen. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much that on that side in terms of support. In terms of absolutely just massive longs towards the upside, what we're going to be looking for is a measure move up here. Again, this is if we bounce here today. Okay. Uh, we are on the kind of the last, the last ropes here for this thing. But if we we get over this trend line at any point we're looking for about 15 cents six and then we're going to be looking to ride that up to essentially uh, the top of this area which is about 17 cent uh, and that in itself so 15 six yeah about nine percent trade can't go wrong there pretty good pretty good across the board there uh, and yeah from that point if you want to hold, it's up to you. But if, if it is going to be a holding scenario, what we need to do is stay above this four hour volume weighted ATR band, right? Patreons will have access to this. If you do want access to this, then uh, feel free, just ask me in the comments. I'll drop, I'll get you, I'll give you a couple weeks for free uh, on this indicator so you can uh, stay stay aware and, and, and keep keep your eye on the market, right? On trading view. So uh, cool, good stuff there. Uh, besides that, yeah, if we do head down, what we really need to do quickly uh, is actually reclaim this 11 cent area, right? So if we head down to about 10, six, the bottom of this measure move, if we reclaim this 11 cent zone, it's good because that's our structure for the entire bull run, as you can see here, right? Uh, it's from the absolute lows of the bull run to where we are right now. So this is the structure that really does need to hold for Dogecoin. If it doesn't hold, it's probably the end. Uh, and, and you could probably say it's the end of the bull run as well because uh, everything else will be coming down right uh, so yeah keep an eye on that but besides that yeah we are looking at this area 10 cents six uh, for potentially um, not necessarily a buy but once we reclaim everything afterwards right uh, then we can buy from that point but uh, yeah it really depends how things shape up you guys know my plan here if we do break down from this point I will be exiting uh, if we do start banging it towards the upside then I'm looking for that trade from about 15 6 all right uh, that is going to be it for this video guys not too much else to talk about here hopefully you've enjoyed this little mini update for you uh, and if you are a doge holder let me know in the comments leave a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one peace